to your main bowl or container you're going to have want to put 38 grams of castor oil and 268 grams of olive oil to your main container and then to another container you are going to want to put your hard oils 191 grams of coconut oil and I use the 76 degree and you're also going to want to put 191 grams of palm oil to this one and then you're going to want to warm that and then to this we are going to add in here I've got 38 grams of shea butter and 38 grams of avocado butter you're going to want to add that to your hot oils This recipe is just a slight difference from the unscented and a slight difference from the men's Budweiser soap that I made. In the unscented, I put kaolin clay. In the men's, I put kaolin clay and French green clay. And to this one, I'll be adding a little bit of a difference. And I will get to that when I get ready to add the um, dry ingredients. Okay, after you get all of your wonderful butters in there, you're going to want to stir this until it melts. I don't like to heat my shea butter or my avocado butter. I find that they do better if you just melt them this way. And I'll stir that down until it melts and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I just wanted to recap and let you know how I do my alcoholic beverage. My choice this time is Budweiser. And you can use any kind of beer that you want to. I feel that beer is beneficial to the skin. I also use beer in my, on my hair. Um, but now there's a certain way I do mine. I like to um, pour my beer or wine into an open container such as a bowl and I like to leave it setting out and um, let the alcohol evaporate from within the beer or the wine and then um, I like to freeze my beer or wine now some people boil their beer or wine to remove alcohol content. I prefer not to. Some people also put their beer or wine in the refrigerator to chill it and then mix with their lye. Me, I prefer to freeze because you can have a eruption if your beer or wine has still got any alcohol in it and then you mix your lye with it it can actually do like a volcano and erupt out of the container uh, and I, so I personally with my experience prefer to freeze the beer or wine first and I have had no problems doing it this way okay once you have got the hard oils melted just a recap, liquid oils, we've got 38 grams of castor oil 
and 268 grams of olive oil. To our hard oils, we have 191 grams of coconut oil and 191 grams of palm oil, 38 grams of shea butter, and 38 grams of avocado butter. Okay, once that is melted, then we are going to mix our hard oils in with our liquid oils. Just get as much of that out as you can. Don't like to waste any oil. Okay. And once you've done this and got the oils combined together, then it's going to be time to mix your dry ingredients. Okay, we'll set this aside. Okay, now to our bowl of liquids, we are going to be adding four dry ingredients. We are going to be adding two teaspoons of collodial oatmeal. And normally I would add one at a time and mix each one individually, but I'm going to go ahead and go with it and just mix them together at once. And then you are going to have two teaspoons of powdered goat's milk. You are going to have one teaspoon of your sea clay. You can see that. And one teaspoon of Moroccan clay. Both very beneficial to the skin. I love both of those. Well, I love a lot of clays and use a lot of clays, but um, the Moroccan, you know, is said to be very good for aging skin, and uh, the Dead Sea is supposed to be really good for it too, so I love them. Okay, now we are going to blend this. Okay, time to blend these. I want to try to get them mixed as good as possible. And this is just to the oil. There's no lye solution in here. Moroccan clay over there that's wanting to hide. Okay. Okay, I wanted to tell you to this soap you are going to need 291 grams of beer. Now you can weaken it down if you want to and put part distilled water. Um, I like to use full the whole beer, whole amount in beer. Um, and then you're going to need 108 grams of lye, sodium hydroxide, um, and I like to use the food grade. And also, once you, once you start mixing that lye into your frozen beer, I do not just dump it in there. You pour a little bit, stir. Pour a little more, stir until you have it all mixed in. I don't, I don't dump the whole amount in there. Uh, it's best to do it a little bit at a time. That way you don't burn up the beer. In my opinion. Okay, and then to that also, I'm going to be adding to my lye water 
silk. This is Tessa silk. And this is what it looks like whenever I get it. And then I cut it into little teensy weensy fibers. And that the lye and your beer will dissolve this. So I wanted to let you know that um, about how I mix the, the lye. I'm getting ready to bring you back and put the lye in. Okay, to your cold lye solution, you're going to want to add one and a half teaspoons of sodium lactate. This is to help your bar harden, get a harder bar. Okay, we're going to get ready to pour our lye water in. Okay, once you've got your lye water in there, or lye solution, I should say, because this is a, a lye beer and not a water, you're going to want to stir. And if you'll notice, the color of my soap is actually very dark. Um, the Moroccan clay, probably in a mix with the um, sea clay, is more than likely why. But um, I'm just going to mix that a little bit like so. And then to this, I'm going to be adding 1.5 ounces of my cream. Stir that in like so. Okay, then I also want to add this right here is hydrolyzed silk. Now I put one teaspoon for about probably about three teaspoons of water and uh, dissolve that so I'm going to pour that in here like so and then to that I'm going to add my uh, hydrolyze my pearl powder is what this is it's not hydrolyzed it's just pearl powder but I dissolved it also into uh, water and that's a teaspoon of pearl powder to the water and then I'm also going to be adding my fragrance and this is um, a fragrance that we mixed ourselves. Um, a very lovely fragrance I really like it I'm going to be using several several different colors for this. So I'll bring you back once I get my colors mixed. 